Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. And I gotta tell you, this morning, this is the second time I've started this video. Things just aren't working right for me, but I'm excited because now I feel like we're, I feel like we're on a, a good slope here. Um, anyway, this is super cool. So it's Friday. We've been here a week. We have done a huge amount of work, haven't we, dear? Lots yeah. of stuff. The whole upstairs of the house is pretty much done. Uh, donated, uh, gotten rid of, and piles made for people who want certain things. And we decided I need to take just a day off once a week to just go do something. So today we are going to donate some things. I've got some glasses to go to the Lions Club. I've got some stuff to take to. There's a nonprofit assisted living place that does uh, assisted living, dementia, Alzheimer care. And we took a big box of unused... Um, greeting cards that were blank and they were thrilled with them so today we're going to take some other things over to them and then i'm going to close this i think i get a glare there we go and then oh that's kind of cool i'm going to show you guys something this is the elevator testing place that big place right there is where they test those elevators that you go in see there <coughs> that's the the otis elevator testing place it's kind of cool but after we donate the glasses and the stuff over to the assisted living place we are going to the Swiss Army Knife place. And if you guys watched my Instagram or my uh, my Facebook group, you will see all the Swiss Army Knives that we have found going through his dad's stuff, tons of them. But you can never have too many. Swiss Army Knives are awesome. And I'm gonna show you guys around because they have some really cool ones. I have my little one that's got a Dutch boy and a Dutch girl on either side of it. And I just, I, we, I, Swiss Army Knives are cool. So we're gonna take a trip over there and then we'll go out to lunch and we'll see what happens after that. So the next time I see you, we'll be at the Swiss Army Knife place. Okay, you guys, we're in Bristol. Three quarters of a mile. Look at that, four fifty nine for diesel. Oh my God. Anyway, um, I went to a price chopper. I liked the price chopper. Not here, a different one. But anyway, we're in Bristol and this is very cool. We went through a real old area. Some amazing looking houses and these two churches. I wish I'd had my camera out. If we go back by there, I'll film them for you. But this is a cool area. I really like it. But um, we had to go over here to the <laughs> Salvation Army because we need to find out where to donate certain things. And the ladies were so awesome in there. They gave me the directions to the place and they gave me a pie. <laughs> I walked, she's like, are you or your husband diabetic? And I said, no. And she goes, here, take a pie. And you guys know how pies are my favorite. So we got a blueberry pie for later, which was really sweet. But anyway, I just love the old looking, um, some of the older houses. And I think, I like the way they use uh, siding here more than we do. And they have um, really, really interesting color schemes to their siding. So kind of fun, but I'll show you more in a little bit. Okay, guys, we made it. Uh, we followed OnStar directions and ended up at a house, but we corrected that with Google Maps and we got here. So I'm going to show you what it's like inside the Victor Knott Swiss Army factory store. So we're not in the store. We're like in the entrance to the main buildings, but I wanted to show you this. This is so neat. It's all the layers that they put together to make a knife. Like evolution through time of Swiss Army knives. I like those. The little pocket ones. They're so good. I have one like that. I can do everything with it. So we'll go into the store and see what they got. Okay, we're in the store. This is so amazing. Look at how neat these are. I love all of these. Actually, they have so many different ones, it's really hard to choose. I'll show you all these. I like these kind, the super cute ones. They have a little... And then they got luggage and watches and all the Swiss Army things. See, that's what I want to look at, those right there. All right, we'll be back to you in a minute. Okay, here's one that Brian just spotted. And, oh, yeah, I don't see why someone wouldn't want that in their pocket. Holy cow, look at that. 
There must be every blade known to mankind in there. You have your own suitcase to carry that one aboard. <laughs> All kinds of amazing watches, too. Some really cool looking ones. I don't know. I think you should get that one. Which one? Let us know if you need any help with anything. Thank you. I think he's spotting this one over here. I don't know between the black one and that gray one. That's a pretty cool looking watch. I know it's hard to make decisions. There's so many. All right, let's figure this out. So we did the Swiss Army store. Got a cool watch. Check out your watch. Show them your watch. This is a neat looking watch. I like it. It's pretty, pretty sharp looking. And we'll always know what time it is if we're in the Swiss Army. And then I got a couple of cute watch, cute little knives. This one's super cute because I have one with a little Dutch girl. And this is like, I think this is a little Spanish one to go with my little Dutch one. Because I think these, these ones are cute. This one, see, has a little girl on the front. I think that's cute. So that's my new little knife. And uh, now we're going to go have lunch at Bob's Diner, which this gal in here recommended. And it's sit down, good old American style food. And I'm hungry. You hungry? Yes, let's go eat lunch. All right, the girl at the Swiss Army Knife Factory store suggested Bill's Drive In at Diner for lunch. So this is where we're going to go. Okay, guys, their menu was extensive, so we just got this. It's called what? The Crunch Burger? It was a special and curly fries. Oh my god. That looks so good. I can't handle it. There was so much on the menu. It literally was like five or six things long, like, like posty things long. That looks so good. You know, I'm going to offset it all with this Diet Coke. Okay, so we finished that burger. And oh my gosh, it was so good. But what happened was we walked in there and you know how they have those little boards that they put the little letters on and make the menu? That thing was like six or seven boards long. Like the menu itself was overwhelming. So we're just like, well, let's just go with the, the burger of the day. It looked like Mel's Diner. From it was, yeah, the place was like, reminds us of Mel's Diner, but it was really good. But <clears throat> the burger, excuse me, was, you saw the burger, but it was a burger and it had bacon on it. It had sauteed onions on it, barbecue sauce, and the crunchy part was barbecue chips. That made it really, really good. So that was fun. We got curly fries. And now I don't feel like I would eat for like ever, but I'm still going to stop at the store because, you know, by the time dinner rolls around, someone's going to be hungry. So um, I'm going to stop at the store and I've got a recipe to use that I'm going to make a video on because I did bring some of my home canned uh, meats and tuna. And the recipe I want to do is uh, a tuna recipe out of one of the old cookbooks that I found going through uh, the kitchen. So that will be my next video. After three quarters of a mile. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.